everybody! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, can you guys guess what today's theme of the video is? Pineapples! <laughs> Summer fun! <laughs> we have an awesome client that wants us to make a two-tier cake and the top of it has to look like a pineapple, which I'm really excited about. We're just gonna do a little texture. And what are you gonna do on the bottom? I think we're gonna do lots of palm leaves. We're gonna do hibiscus flowers, really bright colors. So, super pumped for this one, guys. You ready to see us make a really cool summertime cake? All right, let's go get started. I like to give it a little bit more definition by outlining it. So I have a number one tip on a darker color. So I'm gonna use this really dark green. And I'm just gonna go around the entire shape and trace that with this one tip. And I like to go pretty slow so that I can follow those lines that I created and just clean up that shape that I just piped on the side here. And I'm even gonna come through this little stem here. So as you can see, I have a pretty cool leaf there. buttercream and I like to take this um, tapered spatula and I'm going to go in and smooth this out and get it ready for that color that I'm going to add into it. Next I'm going to take the orange color and I'm going to pipe sort of the center of the hibiscus there and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to blend it into that buttercream underneath. So I'm sort of piping that line and then I'm going to take my spatula again and just sort of smooth that buttercream. I like to start from the edge and work in. And then press it into the buttercream underneath so you get that nice blend. Now I'm going to finish off the center with a little bit of this red color, just to show a little bit of a variance of color in the flower. So that's how I blended those three colors together using the palette knife. So now we're going to work on striping our bag so that we can come up with some more like variegated tones for our pineapple. I'm going to work on using a bunch of greens to stripe the top. I'm going to try to get some kind of cool texture going on up here, and I think striping the bag will look really cool. And I'm going to work on mixing some of the colors we used on our cake, so this fun like melon color, a little bit of green, and then mostly yellow for that bottom part of the pineapple. So I'm just taking my color and adding a little bit at a time and just kind of squirting it down inside my bag so that we just get these little pops of color. And then I'm going to turn it, I'm going to add some green on the other side, just maybe a little bit of dark green, a little bit of lime green, and then I'm going to fill my bag with the yellow. the top of the pineapple, I'm going to take and start kind of squeezing some of these green tones in there. I've got my medium green. I'm going to do just a little bit of this dark, kind of get it down in there. 
a little bit more of the medium. We're gonna take our lime green. For the texture on the pineapple, I decided to use a number 12 tip. And what I'm gonna do is basically squeeze a polka dot and then I'm gonna pull it so I get a little bit of a point to create that pineapple texture. And I'm just gonna go around and around until I have this whole thing filled up and then Marianne's gonna come back in and do the stem on the top. take that variegated bag that I made that has the rosette tip and I'm going to start pulling sort of the different spikies in different directions. So I'll start at the outer part and I'll work my way in. Mm -hmm. 